Fortnite is a funny game. Reference culture, for some reason, is a really popular thing right now. You see it in a lot of movies and TV shows where someone goes, hey, look at this thing from something else that exists. It's here now, isn't that funny? Simon Cowell? And that's the whole joke. The abomination that was the new Space Jam movie is a more atrocious example of this. They had all kinds of nonsense in there for no reason, even Rick and Morty. It's an exhausting trend that I don't think is gonna die anytime soon. However, the one exception to this that I personally find to be funny every single time is when something is in Fortnite. Holy sh! Indiana Jones is in Fortnite. <laughs> It never gets old. Star Wars is in Fortnite. Alien is in Fortnite and also Predator. Remember The Walking Dead? That's in Fortnite. You know Dwayne The Rock Johnson? That guy's in Fortnite along with Will Smith. If you can think of a popular franchise, there's a pretty good chance it's made its way into the game. And you want me to be excited because they put Green Goblin in MCU's Spider-Man movie? I don't care, he's already in Fortnite. This is one of the most successful games of all time. It started back in 2015. H1Z1 was the first battle royale game that anyone had really heard of. It drops a ton of players onto a map and the last one standing wins. And people noticed, a lot of YouTube people were playing it and the idea got some traction. So Xavian goes, hey, check this out. We made that game, but good, PUBG. Now everyone knows what a battle royale game is. Then Epic Games pops in and goes, hey, check this out. What if that game was free? and also kind of stupid so kids could play it. And boom, Fortnite becomes the behemoth that it is. Fortnite was the new Minecraft, okay? Everyone and their mother knew what it was, and kids wouldn't stop posting their wins on social media. Nobody cares, Gunther. I did enjoy playing this game for a little bit back in the day. Running around the giant map, finding what locations are the most fun to play, going pew 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 at people who are worse than you is a very enjoyable experience. This is one of the only shooter games where I feel like I'm good at sniping sniping in it, because it's very easy and I'm playing against children. But after you win enough, you start getting put into lobbies with insane people who play this game competitively. Now if you don't know, Fortnite has a building mechanic, or what I like to call an anti-fun mechanic. It's where when you shoot at a guy who has more than a thousand hours in the game, he builds an apartment complex in front of you and then kills you from a window. When I started going up against these guys is when I stopped playing Fortnite the game. It was a good run, Fortnite? I'll see you in hell. But then, earlier this year, some super genius at Epic Games came up with the idea, hey, what if we made a game mode without the worst feature? No build mode. Fortnite was already doing supremely well, but by introducing this new extra casual mode for little stuck up little shits like me, they garnered a whole new collection of players who are gonna play the game more. It makes so much money that it's gross. How is a free game making so much money? Easy! Cosmetics, battle passes, all the nonsense. You can have a subscription to Fortnite just so you get all the battle passes and they think they like give you something a little extra special? Probably? I don't know. But there's a never-ending streamline of content that you can buy for this game. And boy, do people keep buying it. And when a game does this f***ing well, everyone wants a piece of the pie. That's why you have Pac-Man, Assassin's Creed, John Wick, Ariana Grande, League of Legends, Street Fighter, Joe Biden, and Batman in the game. And you want me to be excited because they put Rick from Rick and Morty in that stupid ass multiverses game? They already put that guy in Fortnite. This game is so successful that when they made a game mode that was a direct ripoff of Among Us, Among Us went, hey, can you guys put us on the game too? As funny as Fortnite is, I think the trend it's caused has made some people forget how special games like Smash Bros are. Massive ensembles of seemingly random characters are becoming a more and more popular trend. Smash Bros was the first game to ever do this, and when it first happened, it was completely unprecedented. Over the years, with each new installment in the series, the cast of iconic video game legends grew larger and larger. The most recent Smash Bros game has 89 playable characters, and by some miracle, each and every Every one of them do justice to their source material. Meanwhile, Multiverses is out here with only 21 characters and it already feels like a bloated mess. It is free though, probably because of games like Fortnite. Fortnite's cultural impact in the gaming world is astronomical, but I think time will tell whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. But until then, Fortnite is a funny game. Gangnam Star.